Coca-Cola revenue likely is going to be down 5% this year. Procter & Gamble flat. Apple is expected to be up 7% this year. will probably be up even more next year. But um, I, I do think behaviors, investor, uh, investor framework does change over time. I think a great example, and it took five years, is to look at what happened with software companies uh, and how they have uh, evolved to SaaS companies. Uh, Adobe is a great example of that. It always takes longer than you think, but when it happens, it's more powerful than you think. And once you get a critical mass, and uh, I generally think of this as kind of a quarter of the investing population, um, starting to embrace that, I would guess that it's uh, a sub-10% today believes this mm-hmm. idea that this is a consumer staples company. Uh, but once you get a quarter, what ends up happening, and being on the sell side, I, I uh, witnessed this, is you get nervous about missing it. And uh, you have to basically get up to speed and, and change your view and make a step function uh, increase in uh, the ranges that you think this should trade at. And so um, I am optimistic that continued steady results will yield a higher multiple. You know, I would add... Um I would add one more thing, which is that if you look at the history of Microsoft, um, you also saw this perception shift, a company that was known for being Windows plus Office, and now is known as a services company, and um, albeit with uh, enterprise customers, but the the shift there was that, uh, you know, even though they missed on mobile, the company became the most valuable company in the world, and they're still on a platform that uh, everyone agrees is aged and also uh, in in some something of a you know long term decline. Certainly, they've gone into new areas as well, but generally, just the bulk of the eighty five percent that we talk about here is is been in this uh, in this uh, you know um, uh, legacy. So that that's one example of the story beyond Adobe, where where a shift to a recurring revenue model based on subscriptions has uh, convinced investors that this is worth a much higher multiple, um, and that this is a story that doesn't uh, have the cyclicality that we're uh, we're assuming about tech. Um, and so that's what I also found very encouraging is. Uh, how Microsoft has risen essentially from its uh, funk of a decade, and um, and and uh, with great leadership, just moved moved on ahead.